Hi, thanks for joining me on my market report. My name is Mike, and my market report is on what impacts mortgage rates. We kind of like to kind of give you some information for the day, every day, about what's uh, what's going on and what's uh, and how it's driving mortgage rates on a daily basis. So we'll kind of go over like economic reports, go over headline news. Uh, we'll let you know what what uh, line in the week ahead that could impact mortgage rates on a positive or negative aspect. We also kind of look at, uh, let you inform you if it goes upwards or downwards or sideways. We don't get so much into rate quotes, primarily because there's just too many variables that go into rates as well as, uh, you know, different loan programs. And that would just bring this uh, video up way too long for anyone want to really watch this. So uh, a little bit about myself is I am a loan officer. I do work with a national lender. So if you guys got questions about mortgage rates, the programs, uh, process, or if you guys would like somebody to look at your refinance deals or if you got something or somebody needs to pre-approve you and so you can buy a property, we're here to help you in any capacity. Please feel free to reach out. Um, in the meantime, why don't we just start with the uh, report here. We'll start with today's economic data. Today is uh, factors for the month of June. So in May, it was initially came in at 1.7. However, it got revised higher to uh, 2.3%. Forecast was supposed to show a drop down to 1%. However, it continued. It dropped a little bit, but not to the forecast. At. It still went up 1.5%. Still, still decent numbers here for the month of uh, June. Uh, tomorrow, we'll get the ADP, with the first look of the three data we'll see for job numbers for the month of July. Those are the private pay payrolls. And, of course, every Thursday, we get the initial jobless claims. And then Friday, we get the... Uh, the Bureau of Labor Statistics data, and that would be probably a big one this week. Uh, people are going to start watching that a little bit more because it'll give them a more idea as to the Fed's, or give them more insight to what the Fed might be thinking in terms of tapering talk because they want basically jobs to be at a certain level. My per personal feeling is that we went above 400,000 on the initial jobless claims uh, last month, so my feeling is that maybe jobs might come in kind of poor. Uh, this reading uh, primarily because we've seen more people apply for unemployment or for, or for as first time claims. So we'll have to kind of wait and see, but that's just my inkling idea. So uh, with that in mind, let's jump ahead to the headline news, see what's going on here. Stocks are up, even though we see a rise in COVID cases, and we, they're also keeping an eye on this. China's cracked on tech companies, it does concern them. However, uh, they're still bullish about the Q2 earnings reports, 85% of the companies coming in. Uh, I was hearing a number that 18% of uh, our profit, about beating estimates by over 18%. So we're getting some really good economic data in that regards. Now, regards to COVID cases, they don't think it's going to stop the economy. They think it's just going to be maybe slow, slow the recovery down a little bit. And that's how they're kind of viewing that. And then, of course, you know, China's cracked on the kind of keep an eye on that and how that's going to play out as well. Uh, let's jump ahead see how this is playing out with the bond market and uh, we started off much higher. Uh, most lenders came out with the pricing up here. Just recently it just pulled back a little bit. We're down about six basis points. So I would simply say that pricing should be about where we left off yesterday. We had uh, some price improvements so we were at about 13. We ended up closing up 13 basis points but right now we're showing some slowdown so I would be very cautious here because if with this long wick here this could in indicate a pullback a little bit here in the near term. So be a little cautious here. Uh, again, we do got some jobs numbers coming in uh, this week. That could be good news. This could be bad news for us. Uh, good, bad news. I'm sorry. Bad news could be good news for stocks in this case uh, because if the jobs reports don't come in that good, that means the Fed will continue with its uh, cheap, easy money, and stocks may like that, and that may take money from the bond market. So just be a little cautious coming ahead here. Uh, what we're looking at, but in terms of right now, um, as of right now, mortgage rates are about the same, but that could you know, potentially change here. And tomorrow you could see this, of course, you know, even worse and a little bit further. You can see this towards the downside here. Uh, yields were kind of hanging around just under 1.18 uh, at 1.179. We've been touching, so we got the double touch here right now, uh, the 115 level. So again, uh, we see this hammer. This could be a reversal here. We could see a trend reversing upwards again showing some weakness uh, in its movements. All right, folks, I hope this helps. Uh, if you guys, again, got questions about anything we can help you out with, please feel free to reach out. Uh, if you guys like these videos, we greatly appreciate it. If you can smash that like button, we greatly appreciate that as well. 
You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. Great. Have a good day. Bye-bye.